In the headlines, the man found guilty in the robbery of a Rocky Mountain bank will spend a decade behind bars. The North Carolina House joined the Senate making history by overriding two of Governor Purdue's 15 vetoes. And it will be a day of decisions at North Carolina Wesleyan College later this week. These stories and more coming up on Newsbreak starting now. From WHIG TV, this is News Break 31. Now, here's Marie Torres. Hello, you're watching WHIG TV News Break, your voice in the community. I'm Marie Torres. 207 marijuana plants are seized this week after the National Guard finds them during a flyover operation in northern Nash County. According to the Rocky Mount Telegram newspaper, three helicopters were used to spot the growing operation. The National Guard's Counter Drug Task Force, along with Nash County Sheriff's Office, North Carolina's Highway Patrol, and the State Bureau of Investigations were all a part of Monday's bust, which included finding the plants in a field near Nashville's Walmart of Field and Whitakers and at a home on the 4700 block of Drake Street in Nashville. At least three people have been arrested and charged in connection to this drug operation. Also in, also in today's crime report, four people are charged in the armed robbery of a pizza delivery driver. This is the second incident in Rocky Mount where a driver has been held up in the last weeks. In this case, police arrested 19-year-old Demars Harris, 17-year-old David Jordan Jr., and 21-year-olds Terrence Miller and Daryl Mitchell Jr. Rocky Mount PD says just after midnight Sunday, the 48-year-old delivery man for Domino's Pizza made a delivery to a home on Deer Chase Drive when he was approached by the suspects. While one of the suspects pointed a rifle at him, another removed his money. They were eventually caught by a joint effort between Rocky Mountain Police and Nash County detectives. A canine was brought in to track the alleged bandits down. Harris, Jordan, and Mitchell were all charged with robbery with a dangerous weapon, while Miller was charged with aid and abetting in armed robbery. All men sit in Nash County Jail. The man found guilty in the robbery of a Rocky Mountain bank more than two years ago is serving his time. Officials say 42-year-old Douglas Jean Whitfield faces 10 years in federal prison for robbing Freedom Federal Bank back in April 2009. In addition to his 10-year sentence, Whitfield must serve three years probation. He is also ordered to pay restitution. Police continue their search for a 19-year-old who allegedly attacked and held his girlfriend captive this week. Around 1 a.m. Sunday, it's reported that Leslie Stanley Jr. physically assaulted the 21-year-old woman while at a home on Cypress Street. The victim said he fled shortly after the attack. She was treated at Nash General Hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. And this week, authorities bust three alleged drug dealers in Rocky Mount. Sunday evening, police say they arrested and charged the Halifax County residents during a traffic stop on Tiffany Boulevard and Joyner Street. The three are 24-year-old Tierra Burnell, 27-year-old Melanie Davis, and 33-year-old Alton Vinson. While investigating the suspect's vehicle, officers say they located two ecstasy pills and 10.8 grams of marijuana. All were sent to Nash County. County Jail under bonds ranging from two to seven thousand dollars each. When we return on today's news break, major layoffs in the state once again puts unemployment even more in the red. And those looking to further their college education, stay tuned. These stories and more right after these words.
It's back for a limited time. Every new Buick and GMC at Davenport Auto Park is being offered at the GM employee price. Combined with factory incentives, now you can drive out for up to $5,000 below dealer invoice amount. And that's not all. With Davenport's dealership for life, you can even get a free lifetime warranty. Plus free oil changes, rotations, and more for no extra charge. Employee price, rebates up to $5,000, free lifetime warranty. See if anybody beats that deal. But hurry, this offer ends soon, only at Davenport Auto Park in Rocky Mount. Still your dealership for life. The Country Inn and Suites is your home away from home with a staff that always treats you as family. If you or your church or company has visitors, give them a great Rocky Mount welcome with a special discount on their overnight or extended stay. Not only is the Country Inn and Suites a comfortable place, we'll spoil them with fresh cookies and complimentary breakfast. We are filled with luxuries like an indoor pool, fitness center, and a guest laundry. The business center includes a boardroom, connection to high-speed internet, and catering for meetings is always available. Call me, Donna Vachavis, at 252-442-0500 for a tour and or to set up your corporate rate. You're always welcome as family in the country, country and in suites, rocking out. Welcome back to WHIG TV News Break. I'm Marie Torres. Yesterday, the North Carolina House joined the Senate in overriding two of Governor Beverly Purdue's record 15 vetoes. Now, bills making it tougher to apply environmental restrictions as well as changes to the state's Medicaid program are law. In addition, Monday, the House voted to override Purdue's veto of legislation capping some jury awards in medical malpractice cases. At least five more bills are up for veto this week, including controversial measures like requiring voters to present photo identification before being allowed to cast their ballots and requiring women seeking abortions to first receive counseling, then wait 24 hours. Two weeks ago, the Senate overrode six vetoes. In the House this week, the regulatory reform override passed by a 76 to 41 margin while the Medicaid override passed 74 to 41. Meanwhile, layoffs in both state and local governments have driven North Carolina's unemployment rate to the highest it's been in nearly a year. According to North Carolina's Employment Security Commission on Friday, more than 10,000 jobs were cut from the public sector, including 7,200 in state government, leading to a statewide jobless rate of 9.9 percent in June. This recent rate is the worst since October 2010, when unemployment dipped under double digits for the first time in several months. A recent study from researchers at the Center for Competitive Economies revealed that when other factors such as underemployment and those no longer seeking employment are taken into account, North Carolina's rate is actually 17.5 percent. Currently, the national jobless rate is 9.2 percent. In other news, it will be a day of decisions at a local college. From near and far on Friday, prospective students and their families will flock to the campus of North Carolina Wesleyan College in Rocky Mount to apply and be enrolled. But Vice President of Enrollment Bill Allen says the invitation still stands to those contemplating making Wesleyan the place for their future education. He tells us about Decision Day and what aspiring students need to bring. There's a lot going on at Wesleyan. We're getting ready for the start of the fall semester, which is always really exciting. Um, to get us going in that vein, we uh, have one more big event coming up, and that's our decision day on July 29th, 2011. And we're inviting all those students who have yet to apply to come for a day of activities here on campus and bring their admissions materials, and we'll waive an application fee, and we will render a decision on whether they're admissible to the college or not. All right. 
of activities? Well, we've got a couple of things planned for them. We first off, we're going to start with a tour of campus, and they'll tour campus with a student. Uh, we will follow up with a panel of both students and faculty and staff on what they can expect from their Wesleyan experience. Uh, we'll wrap up with a roast, uh, pig roast, barbecue, and so everybody will have a great lunch. And then we'll sit down and chat with each of them about where they stand at the end of the day. So. Okay. And you mentioned that there were some material people need to bring if they were interested? There is. Uh, of course, they have to bring a completed application. And if they bring a completed application, we'll waive their application fee. Uh, that's $45 right there, so that's uh, pretty good savings. Uh, and then uh, think about the materials you'd need to finish your application. It's primarily transcripts and test scores. So whether or not you're a transfer or a freshman, we need your transcripts from both high school and college experience, and we'll need test scores for freshmen, so your SAT or your ACT scores. How do people get an application? They can download one right online, or they can call us here at the office, and we'll send them one. So. All right. Any other information people should know about? Um, well, our webpage is www.ncwc.edu, and they can call the admissions office at 985-5200 if they've got further questions. We also ask that they call to make a reservation so they can let us know that they're going to be here. Again, Decision Day at Wesleyan is this Friday, July 29th. The college is located at 3400 North Wesleyan Boulevard in Rocky Mount. After the break, it's the latest in sports and weather. We'll be right back. It's back for a limited time. Every new Buick and GMC at Davenport Auto Park is being offered at the GM employee price. Combined with factory incentives, now you can drive out for up to $5,000 below dealer invoice amount. And that's not all. With Davenport's dealership for life, you can even get a free lifetime warranty, plus free oil changes, rotations, and more for no extra charge. Employee price, rebates up to $5,000, free lifetime warranty. See if anybody beats that deal. But hurry, this offer ends soon, only at Davenport Auto Park in Rocky Mount. Still your dealership for life. When it's happening to you, you'll hear from us. WHIG-TV Newsbreak is reporting on the news, issues, and stories that matter to you. Call us at 252-885-1814, email us at marie.whigtv at gmail.com, or check us streaming live at whigtv.com. We're your voice, ready to bring you the news. The Country Inn and Suites is your home away from home with a staff that always treats you as family. If you or your church or company has visitors, give them a great Rocky Mount welcome with a special discount on their overnight or extended stay. Not only is the Country Inn and Suites a comfortable place, we'll spoil them with fresh cookies and complimentary breakfast. We are filled with luxuries like an indoor pool, fitness center, and a guest laundry. The business center includes a boardroom, connection to high-speed internet, and catering for meetings is always available. Call me, Donna Vachavis, at 252-442-0500 for a tour and or to set up your corporate rate. You're always welcome as family in the country, country and in suites, rocking out. Thanks for staying with us. Let's take a look at the days ahead in WHIG TV weather with meteorologist Fred Holtzworth. Fred? Quite a bit of thunderstorm activity in our area last night, and we'll see some more of that today, although it won't be as widespread as it has been over the past few days. We picked up just about three quarters of an inch at our station, but I know uh, people living north and probably east of our station picked up much more than that. That storm became severe once it moved into Edgecombe County and a severe weather alert came out on that storm. And it had produced some 
quarter size hail and winds up to around 60 miles per hour. Although at our weather station we didn't see anything uh, close to that at all. Just some heavy rain, quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning and then once that cell moved away that rain lingered for quite a while into the evening so that rain was very welcome. We could see some more of that today but as I said it, it's going to be more isolated but they any storm that you see today could put down some very heavy rainfall, so please be aware of that. Let's take a look at our forecast map and see what we have coming up for the rest of the day. This is what is going to set off any thunderstorms around our area today, this cold front. And actually it's billed as a cold front, but really it's a dew point front. The dew point's a little drier on this side than they are out ahead of it. And we'll be right on the boundary for rain and thunderstorms. Most of the activity will be to our south. And as I said earlier, once this front comes down and stalls south of us, we'll have to watch it to see if any tropical activity develops along that front because that's what happened in the case of Tropical Storm Brett last week. The severe weather will be out to our west from Kansas northeastward up into Wisconsin. This is associated with this uh, stationary front right in here, low pressure moving along the front. They could see some flash flooding in Iowa, Wisconsin, and northern Illinois right in this area. Another area of severe weather could take place in western South Dakota and northeastern Wyoming right in here in connection with this cold front moving down through the mountains. Now, along the Gulf Coast, rain and thunderstorms all through the peninsula of Florida, right up into uh, the central coastal plain of North Carolina. Uh, we will be on the boundary of that. High pressure out over the Four Corners region, this will uh, give them a you would think a pretty good day here, but they still have some moisture from Tropical Storm Dora to contend with, and rain and thunderstorms will be pushing up into Old Mexico and uh, also coming down into the Four Corners region from this area up in here. The West Coast looks to be in pretty good shape. They're in the Mediterranean climate and their season for rainfall is coming to an end. As you go farther north up into British Columbia, you'll see rain and thunderstorms breaking out in this area. But as far as this area here, their uh, dry season will be beginning very shortly. Well, let's look at our forecast now. We'll see what we can expect for the next few days. Isolated showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Some could produce some heavy rainfall. High temperature 91, light wind. Partly cloudy tonight with a low of 68. Southwest wind at 6. Wednesday sunny with a high of 97. Light wind and a heat index of around 102 degrees. Wednesday night partly cloudy with a low of 72 and a light wind. Sunny on Thursday with a high of 97, south wind at 5. Thursday night partly cloudy with a low of 74. Sunny on Friday and that temperature the high will be just about 100 degrees. Friday night, partly cloudy with a low of 76. Saturday sunny, temperature back up near 100 again with a high of 98. A low of 75 with a cloudy sky on Saturday night. 96 was our high yesterday and our temperature has dropped one degree since we came on the air this morning. We're now at 73 for a low and the precipitation at 76 hundredths of an inch during the past 24 hours at our weather station. The national extremes yesterday, 117 degrees at Death Valley, California, 34 degrees at Truckee, California, and the heaviest rainfall reported by the National Weather Service observing station yesterday, 2.72 inches in Norfolk, Virginia. 
the Rocky Mountain extremes for this date, 99 was our highest temperature for this date in 1987 and the low 59 degrees in 1957. And that's a look at your Tri-County weather right up to the minute. Thank you, Fred. And with us now is Edward Green with our sports update. Tell us what's the latest. Well, Marie, we had uh, last week we saw Greg Crudup from the Carolina Cougars. And now to get a little more information about him, we're going to see a little more part of that interview. Okay. Well, last week we told you about the new American Basketball Association team headed our way into Rocky Mount. Now Greg Crudup, the general manager of the Carolina Cougars, tells us about tryouts that are coming up this week as well as how you can be part of the team and see the Cougars in action this fall. Uh, tryouts are July 30th. Can you tell yes, us a little bit about those? Well, this is our last trial for the Carolina Cougars. Um, it's going to be at Arn Wilson, um, 311 um, Hill Street. And what we're trying to do, we have 10 players right now. And the max that we can have on um, a team is 15. So we're looking at adding five players um, to the roster and Hopefully, hopefully, you know, we get the best of the best from our market, which is uh, Wilson, Nash, Escombe, and Halifax counties, and add to the players that we already have that we can be a formidable team in the ABA. Well, I'm sure there's some great talent around here. And yeah. when you finally get that team together, when is the season going to start for you guys? It's going to start around November. Okay. Um, and it's going to go all the way through March. Um, we have 15 home games and uh, 15 away games, so 30 games all together. And you guys are going to be playing at North Carolina Wesley in their yes, gym. Sir. And yes, tell sir. how the, the fans at home can get tickets once the season starts. Well, they can go to our website, carolinacougars.org, or they can um, get with me. Um, I can make sure they get tickets, or they can go to our, web, our other website, which is the carolinacats.org, um, and they can also get tickets from up there. Any final thoughts you have about jumping into this kind of venture, excitement, trepidation, Man. everything going on with you? It's a big venture. It is definitely a big venture and um, need all the support that we can get, not only from the community, but from businesses and sponsors. Um, what if we can do to make sure that this, this team survives, but that we can make a difference in this community, the way, where we're at? Um, it's going to be a great, great adventure. It's going to be fun. It's going to be affordable. And it's going to be uh, something that all our fans can come to and, and, and know that when they come to the games, it's going to be a safe environment, but they're going to be entertained really well. And once again, here is that information for tryouts. It is this Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to noon at the R.M. Wilson Gym in Rocky Mount. That is on 311 Hill Street. And you can pay in advance for $100 or pay at the door for $125. And all this information and more can be found at the team's website, carolinacougars.org. Org. And Marie, with the current NBA lockout still going on, it appears that this could be an inexpensive and fun way that fans can get their hoops fixed starting in November right here in Rocky Mount. Okay, awesome. And of course, talking about lockouts, the NBA lockout still going on, not much progress being made there, but the NFL lockout mm -hmm. just ended. That's all great. <laughs> so teams have now started reporting to camp. They're going to roll them out in waves starting this week. Every team will start two weeks before their first preseason game. Of course, the Hall of Fame game, which is always played year after they uh, enshrine the latest inductees in uh, uh, Canton, uh -huh. will not be played this year, unfortunately, but the rest of the preseason should go on as scheduled. So we were happy. The owners voted 31 nothing. The players voted 32 nothing. So all unanimous. Everyone's happy. Yes. Ten more years of labor peace for the NFL. It's good all to right. see. And, and good for the fans. Yes, Definitely always good. good for the fans. And hey, DirecTV is still giving away uh, Sunday tickets, so I was like, well, you know, now they can can finally get their money. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Edward. No problem, Marie. Well, that's all for us here today on News Break. Tune in Thursday for more news that's impacting the community. For WHIG TV, I'm Marie Torres. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.